Okay, so now is our dynamic and advanced dynamic analysis. I mean, okay. So right now we are going to patch our malware in order to remove the checks. So what we have to do is uh open this in Ori debug, and if I just run this through in Ori debug without setting any breakpoints or anything, the program should crash because. Uh, remember that there was a code inside there, the string that will crash already debug. Let's try. Yes, already debug has instantly crashed. So now what we want to do is uh go back there again. So we put in the malware again. Okay. At this point in time what we have to do is we have to go back to our IDA Pro our IDA Pro you can see that this tool check is only being called at this location I can reference to show you it's only being called at one location so let's just, let's just directly jump there Control G 0408CC3 and you can uh, double check oh sorry You can see that uh, this call with me 00408C47, this is actually our tool check. And you can see the next instruction, test ALAL, test ALAL, jump equal to short with me. Zero. Okay, you can see that the address is the same. Well, it, well, it might not be the same because they, hey, they use different disassemblers, but uh, generally it should look around the same. Okay, so at this particular coin, this is the function that it will check for the tools. So what we want to do right here is we have to change it into change it into something else. Let's say move e a x zero, not fit if n o p s. Okay, why we want to move it e a x zero? That's because it tests, you see the next function test AL, AL. If AL is 1, it will, AL is the lower, the lower part of AX. So, oh sorry, of uh, AX. So if the whole AX is uh, 0, it will ensure that AL will always be 0. If AL is 1, you can see from our tool check within, if AL is moved in as the value of 1 this will say that our tool has been detected so what we want is our tool to never be detected so we will move this as 0 and it will tell the program that there's nothing wrong so this after adding the code inside we have to save it let's uh, copy this to copy all okay I will save it as with me underscore patch dot exe now let's close all the debug and we can close IDA Pro now no, actually we can run all the debug again one more time just to show you that uh, now the patch program should no longer crash or debug. Okay, you can see from down here if I press play, or debug actually goes through this now actually uh, going through the malware. If I go to my process monitor, you will see that. Sorry. Process Explorer, you will see that the malware is still there. Even though oil debug is open, the malware is still running. It no longer closes when oil debug is running. So we can close oil debug and we can open it again just to show. See, uh, our program no longer closes itself and already about opens. 
and even if uh, even if Wireshark is open, uh, let's try closing this. Well, normally I would uh, revert the snapshot, but uh, I don't really need to in this case. Let's open Wireshark. Okay, you can see that the exe is running. Then now we can try to open our malware again. Let's just wait for Wireshark to load. Ah, yes. Even though uh, Wireshark is closed, uh, it's open I mean, if I run the malware, you see that it runs, you can see in the process monitor that uh, process name is with me, patch, let's see can see that actually it is actually running all these registry key close the opening setting values and much more it's still running yes so okay this uh this will conclude our advanced dynamic analysis that this malware is actually still running even though Wireshark is open and our debug is open. We have successfully patched the malware. So okay, that will be it for our advanced dynamic analysis.